1929, uh, that family was worth over $250 million during the Great Depression. What were they? I have no idea what they did, but they gave this to their son for their uh, high, his high school graduation. Siri. <laughs> uh, after that, it was in the movie Sunset Boulevard with yeah. uh, Gloria Swanson. Sure. So I have the stills from the from the movie. Really? Well. Yeah. Wow, it's like a Riviera town car. And this everything is, I'm uh... telling you is stuff that's been told to me or that I have in yeah in. And files, so you got to look through the files and really go through it just to get the get the little get extra. the history. Yeah, the Tucker is number thirty six. Um, you know the story of Tucker. Yes, thirty six was the last one that was made in the factory before the SEC shut them down, and then the workers came back and finished up the production. So this is the actual last Tucker built under the Tucker name. They shut down the factory. Number thirty six. Number thirty six. So the very last one before they sh were there more built after, after this? Yeah, yes. fifty one. So right, one uh, ten goose, uh, which was the prototype, and then fifty production model, uh, thirty six under the Tucker emblem, and then the fourteen after the factory got shut down. Uh, Auburn. Auburn. <laughs> eight cylinder or twelve? Yeah, eight. Wow. What beautiful cards, though, huh? <laughs> not shabby. Definitely not shabby. You'll probably never see this anywhere except for here. Uh, the Rickenbacker Super Sport. Um, they only made one. This is it, huh? This is it. As the, the Super Sport. production car in 1927. Fastest production four-seater in 1927. And <laughs> Hmm? Rick and Bunker. <laughs> uh, a couple Packers. Yeah. That's a big 12. Yep, the 12 and the 26. Yeah, those bumpers have 20 pound weights in them to dampen the ride. It works great. That is a great car. This is like a 120 or a standard 8, is it? Must be a. So then you got the DB5, two DB4s. James Bond car, not everybody can say that, huh? All left-hand drive. Now, is this an 8 or a 12? I believe it's a 12. 12, it's, yeah, it is a 12. Yeah. So this one was fully restored. Magnificent. This is probably one of my favorite cars in the entire collection. Uh, the Delahaye. It, it is just flawless. This one won uh, Best of Class at Pebble Beach. Really? Yes. Actually, I have a couple Pebble Beach cars. The, the Rickenbacker also won Best of Class at Pebble Beach as well. Yeah. So did the Bugatti, which we'll get to. And Ray Chopron. Okay. Mm. Wow. Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, original, I think it's six, 16,000 miles, if I'm not mistaken. Interesting color, for 70, sure. 70,000. It's original color, but it's not original paint. paint. There have been some touch-ups uh, around, but it is an original interior. Yeah. And with the radio, that's nice, too. Most of the car, actually probably 95% of the car is original paint. Only about 5% of it is, is touch-ups. And then you have the Bugatti T57C Stelvio. So it's supercharged. Supercharged. All right. Uh, there was about 350 or 370 of them made in, in the supercharged body, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. But in all different uh, bot, yeah. yeah. This car, is, it is a matching engine. The bottom pan mm -hmm. is not original. So the, the pan on the bottom, from, from what I've read, right. is not, it's... Two of these cars were being restored at the same time, and they switched them uh -huh. at the end. But I do have it, and this was bought from Blackhawk, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, Don, um, Don Williams, and I have yeah. the information of who was the restorer, and I have all that paperwork and stuff with this car.
What a great car, huh? It's got a rank up there somewhere by your favorites, huh? Absolutely. This it's is a Cord 812. Yeah. And a Sportsman. Yes. Wow. This is... I just looked at some of these. Um, Premier. Wow. How big that thing is. 65 Mustang. GT, GT. yeah. The interior. Yeah. Hard to find them with that with that type of interior. Well, and the GTs too, disc brake in front and yeah. This um, is an Overland chassis, and Bob Hope uh, took the chassis and did this whole thing to it. Bob and Hope did. Bob Hope, and gave it to as a gift to John Wayne for his birthday. Really? Yeah. So this car has, it's not much to look at, but it, the history behind the car is, is just what makes it what it is. <laughs> so custom built for John Wayne, happy birthday, friends forever, Bob Hope, 52671. That's pretty wild. Texas bullshit scraper. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yes, that is bullshit in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's the payload. Wow. Ooh, an Edsel Citation. Cool. Hard to find these, too. In any kind of shape. Yep. A Do Chevaux. Yep. Wow. Cute with the full top, man. This is... Well, you don't see them like this with this kind of top often. It's missing the top, but. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, hey. The only Porsche in the collection. The tractor. The tractor. <laughs> Boy, this is nicely restored, this tractor. Two cylinder air cooled diesel. Kaiser Darren had one of those. Interesting <laughs> with the. See how the doors open? They slide into the front. Mm -hmm. Fiberglass cars. These were amazing cars, 12 cylinder, aluminum blocks, aluminum cars, custom coach built. Oh, you got two of them. Yeah. Oh, one is a Londole top, the other one is uh, just a regular. Uh, got an open front town car and a Londole back on that. You would think would have an interesting history. Somebody. Division window. Wow. Run? Brun. 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 Brun bodied, yeah. Okay. Sure is. Look at this. Look at the oh. early top. The top's amazing. Huh? The top's amazing. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that curved dash. Oh my god. This is really a wild car. All the little features. Oh, Sport Roadster? Yes. Is it an original one? Yes. Wow. The tonneau cover and the Kelsey Hayes and interesting color. That's a nice restored. Does this have the 390 or a... Had one with the 390. 390. Yeah. Continental, huh? Wow. 41? Or what year is it? Interesting color. Edsel Ford did this, pinned it, had one made, took it down to Florida with him and sold, personally sold the first hundred, so they went into production. And a Mark My II. First car was a in 56, they were the most expensive car, so then Cadillac came out with the Brome just to try and <laughs> claim that title. I mean, what a handsome car, though.
you know, for a personal luxury car of its day. Amazing, huh? It's birds, 57, 55, 55, this one? Yeah. Great colors, too. Cadillac here, yes. 31. Wow. This one's an 8. They made 8, 12, and 16 cylinders all in one year. Pretty amazing. Commander, yeah. Uh, I believe they only made 8 of these in an automatic. Really? So it's actually an automatic one, so kind of rare. It's like the Muppets car, you know? That's what makes it so cool. <laughs> they were. What are these, Starlight convertibles, or was it? So Commander, cool. yeah. It's an eclectic collection very. very yeah a little bit of everything yes indeed uh, whenever he... it's really quite a collection raymond lowey design they were maybe a little too far ahead of their time even got an airflow look at this airflow then the year after this they made it an all steel top without the the wood and People weren't sure they were safe, so they threw one off a cliff. Corvette Row. 427s. 69. This is probably the rarest one out of all of them. This car is basically a one of one. It's the only one that came out of the factory, 427, automatic, in this color, with power window steering, brakes, brakes and air conditioning. Actually, a fully, fully loaded factory car. We got one with the knockoffs. Oops, Roadster, 50th anniversary. I just went to something over the weekend for it. 59. Yeah, they were great looking cars, weren't they? Beautiful. 54, Four. six cylinder, three side draft, but beautiful. You know, got got it off and going anyway. The Soto and the Dodge Royal Lancer, both Hemis. Wow, it's a wild color on that, mm -hmm. isn't it? Wow, look at the interiors. Oh. Look at this Imperial. And the Fury, man. They made how many? Seven. Oof. All the documentation that I have was from that, so if you check the VIN number, uh, through the internet, this will pop up and we'll give you the story behind it. They only made 330 of these, I believe. I did my own research on every single one of these cars to try and find comps and to try and find more really? of them. And um, this was almost impossible to find. You couldn't, you just couldn't find it. They're great cars, aren't they? Oof. And a Munts jet. Yes. Madman Munts. Sold televisions and. <laughs> And most of these parts came from the Kaiser Darings. Uh, you, heard, you know that, right? When they destroyed those, he bought up the parts. So he bought up those parts, and then as you know, they have Lincoln engines and the Frankenstein car. So it's got like lights from one car and an engine from another car. And they just put them all together. TC, TC MGTC, yeah. These are fun little sports cars. Well, everything's on a rotation. So they take certain sections out, take them for drives, bring them back in. Make sure that you know, all the work that's being put into them you know, doesn't go to waste.